This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we will be starting our next topic that is spare parts delivery. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover they are we will see spare parts delivery process, introduction to spare parts delivery process. We will understand that creation of service notification. As usual, we will be creating a first service notification, then we will create spare parts order from the notification there is a special type of order spare parts order that we will generate from the notification then we will create outbound delivery creation of outbound delivery followed by the shipping and post goods issue of spare parts okay this we will cover and then billing the billing we have to build the customer for the spare parts and followed by the uh, final step closing of the service notification so these are the topics we will be covering in the spare parts delivery process okay so first we will start with the spare parts delivery process so basically here what happens is you sell the product to the customer okay a product is at the customer site okay suddenly product is not working okay product is under breakdown okay now customer wants to repair the product by himself he wants to do it on his own okay but he needs some spare parts so he cannot buy or he cannot use the, some uh, uh, other spare parts which are not genuine one so he wants the spare parts from the manufacturer only so that time he will contact us for the spare parts okay so that scenario we are covering today here we are just delivering the spare parts to the customer we are not doing the repair the repair will be done by himself only so that business process we are covering today okay so as usual the first step is notification creation okay so customer calls the customer care center customer care executive customer uh, agent customer care agent will uh, uh, leave the phone call he will talk to the customer he will identify the customer customer wants some spare parts then based on that information the customer service agent will create a notification notification in the system and he will end the call he will end the call so as usual uh, it's like receiving the request from the customer okay so now we will uh, create that in the system okay as usual the notification is created we already discussed in the previous uh, business process what is notification how the notification is created okay what data notification is uh, what data we will maintain in the notification okay and uh, how the notification is processed all those things we have discussed already okay so basically uh, so these are the functions of the notifications basically main purpose of notification is to document the entry of incoming customer service request okay so in that use in the notification you will enter the customer information what is the object if you have any contracts warranties all those things you will enter in the notification okay so that we will be doing today also today also so as we just discussed uh, earlier our our uh, customer service module notifications belong to the category 03 03 this is standard sap you cannot change it on top of that you have you can have different notification types for different scenarios okay so now let's continue okay so we will create a notification okay so first step so i'll do i'll, I'll log into the system okay so i'll go to our our data which we have created already okay so let's say these are your equipment okay so totally there are nine equipment out of which three are already at the customer place at the customer place and they are also installed actually so for one of the equipment the customer wants the spare part okay so for this equipment for these equipments we already created the bomb also suppose if, if i take this equipment if i go to this bomb of this equipment already try to recollect our bomb session 
we have created the bomb also if you go to ib03 enter the equipment in the system plant is 1000 and the bomb usage is 4 4 so if you go so we have created bomb components for this equipment spare parts nothing but spare parts so we will use this today okay so now first step as usual the notification creation so let me open one more session okay iw50 as usual iw50 create service notification select the notification type okay so i'll select as usual s1 s1 notification type just click on continue okay so now the customer wants some spare parts so service agent will write the description here delivery delivery of spare parts spare parts for let's say the equipment let's say the equipment is this one so, so he enters the equipment here okay now he will enter the equipment over here okay and now the moment they enter observe carefully if you see all the data from the equipment master got copied to the notification screen you see including the sold to party that means this equipment has been sold to this this customer sold to party is nothing but customer this will come from the equipment master if you want i can show you again if you go to equipment if you go to equipment if you double click if you go to partner see this is the sold to party sold to party nothing but customer that is getting reflected over here here okay uh, so now priority he, the agent can give the priority let's say customer wants these spare parts from uh, on a high priority so give the priority enter do you want to specify new dates yes okay it will propose the end date also okay now you can enter reported by i will enter my name if the customer is giving a po let's say customer is giving a po you can enter that po okay i'll put it as spare part delivery iphone one two three four this is a po purchase order from the customer but you can enter and he has given this po by to on today's date that all that information you can enter here okay now go to reference object you can write some uh, extra text over here and and again the failure mode if you click on that this is not a failure actually it is just a spare part delivery so like the spare part delivery code the customer can write over here so customer wants customer wants all bearing all bearing ball bearing and gasket gasket okay so they can write some text over here okay so once this is entered and this is not a breakdown or something uh, we are not going to uh, do anything okay so now you can put the items over here object part so if you go to object part you can you can select the object part but we will just select only the part here damage here damage okay but there is no damage we don't know the damage he wants the uh, uh, only what do you say uh, the spare part so you can write here delivery delivery of ball bearing ball bearing okay let's cause we don't know the cause customer has not informed any cause so let's not put any cause here create one more item okay delivery of gasket delivery of gasket okay he will add the items over here. delivery of gasket so now if you go to top if you go to items see the the two items are appearing over here okay now first the service agent will save the notification save so the notification got created that is a notification number so we are here we created the notification so notification structure all those things we have discussed already we have discussed already it will contain tab pages screen areas action box all those things we have discussed 
we have discussed all these header data items tasks activities today also we will document all those things okay and we use